Hi, I am Ani Munira Muhammad from atlastimalaysia.com. In the previous video, I have already explained about step number one in doing literature review using Atlas TI, which is preparing the literatures. In this video, I am going to teach you how to go through the literatures by using some of the features and functions in the Atlas TI software. But I like to uh, qualify a little bit because there are for sure uh, a lot of uh, tools and features in the software that can be used for the purpose of analyzing your qualitative data, including literatures. But due to the limitation of this preview video, I am only going to touch on the basic um, tools in the FSCI software, which is coding and codes and also memos. Now, let's get started. In step number two, to go through the literatures, there are three uh, sub uh, steps, right? Step number one of the three is by doing deductive as well as inductive coding, right? Deductive coding means if we already have uh, concepts or codes or labels or taggings which form part of a framework, and we would like to look out for these specific concepts or themes in our literatures, then we would be calling that as deductive coding. Inductive coding, on the other hand, is an emergent idea or emergent concept that we find along the way uh, of our reading our literatures, and we find that, aha, uh -huh, this is a new code that I can just add on to the list. Right, I will just demonstrate that. I will first build a deductive code list, right? Simply by going to codes, create free codes. Here, for example, I'm gonna say uh, factor, uh, sorry, impacts of smoking, uh, sorry, impacts of smoking, right? Cancer, impacts of uh, smoking, heart attack, impacts of smoking social problem okay uh, right so as you can see before even starting to read through or to go through my literatures I already know what are the things that I want to look for in my literatures for example anything that talks about impacts of smoking which brings about cancer I'm gonna just code that specific uh, quotation if it talks about heart attack or if it talks about social problem i'm going to code that accordingly as well so i'm just going to open the code manager and put it on my right hand side here <clears throat> for example i'm just going to uh, highlight uh, randomly here okay for example uh, okay this part prostate cancer okay this one talks about cancer and Another part talks about social problem, and the other part talks about here it still talks about breast cancer, right? Here again, this one talks about cancer, right? So I'm just gonna highlight that and put under cancer, right? Okay, now as you can see, doing deductive codes is very easy. I just define which is the area that I want to be relevant for that particular code and I'm just going to drag and drop from the code manager to the highlighted segment and that will be shown in the margin area here. Now I would like to demonstrate how to do inductive coding because inductive I cannot drag and drop from here because uh, the code is not yet in the list. Okay, For example here I'm going to do something like right pancreatitis okay so i'm just gonna highlight first and i'm gonna do click on here it's like inductive impacts of smoking pancreatitis pancreatitis yep as you can see this part has already been coded with 
pancreatitis and pancreatitis has already been added to the code manager. Now that is inductive codes. I'm going to do a second one here because this one talks about um, risk factors, uncommon cancer. Okay, here I just would like to do uh, because inductive coding there are two types. What I did just now was to name the new codes to be pancreatitis. But if I want to maintain the terminologies used in the literatures, I can choose to do in vivo coding. In vivo means I want to maintain the terminologies used and a new code will be created verbatim what I have I highlighted earlier. For example, like this, I have highlighted this part and I have decided that I want it to be... Uh, here, okay, DD, okay, this is in vivo coding, okay, risk factors. A new code has already been added in the code manager using the same wordings with per word verbatim what has been highlighted earlier. Okay, at the end of the day, I can just rename this, okay, risk factors, impacts of smoking. factors okay All right now that's step number one so we're going to do that throughout okay both deductive as well as inductive coding throughout the reading okay that's step number one and step number two if it is relevant for your purpose you can do auto coding auto coding means we are asking atlas ti to search for a specific keyword or search term not only we want the atlas ti to search for us we also want atlas ti to code automatically I'm going to give a sample instruction here. I want Atlas TI to find for me the keyword cancer in all my PDs. And once found, please create a quotation for the entire sentence which contains that keyword cancer and to code it with cancer. Okay, so I hope you can follow me so far. The keyword cancer, okay, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose coding, codes coding, auto coding, and I'm going to give an example. Here, the instruction is to find the keyword cancer where in all my current PDs, and once found, please highlight the entire sentence which contains that keyword and to code it with cancer. Okay, here. That fits into our instruction just now. Find the keyword cancer in all my PDs. Highlight the entire sentence and code it with cancer. Look for the keyword cancer in all my documents. Once found, please highlight the sentence and to code it with cancer. And I'm going to click on start. Okay. As you can see, the numbers here add up, right? Without me having to go through each and every one of them, okay, of course there are a lot of it, just to show you an example, okay, there are 545 quotations which have been assigned to that current code because I did not activate the confirm always function here. So in my code manager, okay, I already have the new code cancer with 545 roundedness. But what if I want to confirm always? I want to find the keyword smoking, okay, in all current PDs, yeah, and to code it with smoking. Alright, okay, now it's a different instruction, right? Look for the keyword smoking. In all these documents, once found, please highlight the sentence which contains the keyword smoking and to code it with the word smoking and I have activated the confirm always function. I'm going to click on start now and Atlas will bring me to the first sentence, right? I find it to be a title so I will skip it and now here is a sentence which makes sense so I will code it. If I code it, then it's already coded, okay? Uh, and I will code it again, okay, code it, skip it, okay, and I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to close. So for smoking, I already have three because I have decided to code it three times just now. Okay, I can look back where they are located. Right, okay, so what is the next step? Uh, I have done auto code, I have done deductive coding, I have done... Uh, 
in active coding and I have also done auto coding now I want I'm going to the step number three of three which is by doing free and linked memos memos are slightly different from uh, codes because codes are concepts which form part of our framework but memos are our ideas or our perception or understanding for a specific uh, subject matter okay they can be two types free memos are memos which are not linked to any other objects in the issue and linked memos are memos which are linked to other object in the issue an example here okay if I don't highlight anything I can just create a memo by clicking on the create a free memo to do list for example and I'm just going to click on OK and it's going to open a commentary segment for my memo and I'll just click on one of the things that I need to do I need to download general articles number two I'm going to read through General articles prepare the review. Okay, for example, and I'm gonna close it. Yes, save it. Where is it now? It is already in my memo manager. Here it is. Okay. But what if I want to put a specific idea or uh, my understanding of a relevant segment in the um, uh, uh, literature? So for example, this part, this part talks about uh, explanation about the methodology okay and my critical analysis relating to this statement is the methodology chosen for the study is suitable for the purpose of the paper okay and I'm highlight first and then I'm gonna go to the same icon which I've clicked on just now okay here methodology is suitable okay I'm gonna click on OK now now, right now, I'm creating a linked memo because I am linking that highlighted segment just now to this uh, memo of methodologies. Uh, it is viewed that the methodology undertaken in the research is suitable for the purpose of the current paper. Okay, and I'm going to close it now. Save and change just so I'm going to click on memo manager and you will see that there are two memos I have created so far the one that have groundedness here one means it is a linked memo whereby zero it means it is a free memo and you can click on it to view what are the commentary for that uh, particular memos at the end of the day we are going to have our literatures we are going to have some of them will be linked to Codes as you can see in the code manager, and some of them will be linked to the memos as you can see in the memo manager. Okay, we're going to do this throughout all three steps deductive and inductive, auto coding, and also the uh, memos. Okay, all right, that's it for my uh, oops, sorry, what is what is it that I want to talk about? The linked memo here. If you have something by meaning or understanding or interpretation, perception, and also comment to a specific quotation, for example. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention. We will meet in the next video on step number three.